Gentle Giants Draft Horse Rescue was formed specifically to facilitate the rescue of draft horses and draft cross horses from slaughter, neglect, and abuse. Every week in the United States, about 2,000 horses are, are shipping to slaughter and these horses are going to Canada and Mexico. And many people believe that these horses are old and sick and lame and injured, but the truth is they're not. Um, most of them are under 12 years old. They're healthy, they're sound, they're perfectly usable. These aren't unwanted horses. These are unlucky horses who had irresponsible owners who weren't committed to horse ownership for the life of the individual. We started working with the draft horses because we really liked them, for, first of all. Um, there was a definite need because there are several other horse rescues around that are uh, all breed rescues, but they uh, primarily work with light breeds. And uh, we saw the need for the, to help out the draft horses because they were the ones who are the first ones to be bought by the meat buyers at the, at, at the auctions because being bigger horses, the, with, when the, heat, the meat is being purchased by the pound, the, the bigger horses are heavier, so they're going to be able to get a, a, a better price. This is the first organization that I've heard of that actually goes to auctions and outbids the kill buyers to save the horses. And I think it's really um, great that there is a place like this out there working to save the horses from slaughter. We needed to get the horses out of the auctions so that they could have a good second life, turn into a, either a riding horse, and because they're sometimes more been there, done that kind of horses, they, they don't spook quite as much as some of the other types of horses do because they've been exposed to a lot more in their work lives, uh, with the Amish especially. We're set up to house 60 horses. In addition to that, we're always prepared for the next emergency call of a, a cruelty investigation or an impound. Gentle Giants also works collaboratively with humane enforcement agencies rehabilitating extreme cases of abuse and neglect. We span 109 acres and we rely on about 250 volunteers that help keep the farm running day to day. Volunteers find us several different ways. Um, our volunteers are incredibly active and involved. They're directly hands-on. They are feeding the horses, they are watering them, they're handling them, and our more committed and experienced volunteers even assist by riding horses for us. Um, we put a very strong focus on making sure that our horses are very well retrained for new careers. So we do put a lot of riding time on our horses before they're adopted out. I came out and First day, I mucked 15 stalls all by myself. I was the only volunteer that day. It was so cold, but I came back. I loved it, and I love working with the animals because it's helping them out so much, and it's helping them save them from slaughter, saving them from going through animal cruelty and abuse, and I think it's great. I think that you're helping animals that need the help, and there's so many out there that have homes, and these ones don't. I had no idea what went into taking care of one horse, let alone upwards of 60 at one time. And the amount of hay that they go through and feed is incredible. Um, and so many of them need special treatment that it's the, any support we can get to feed one horse, let alone all of them, is, would make a huge difference. There's always um, heartbreak involved. Um, whether it's a horse who we have to euthanize or a horse that we couldn't save. Um, every time we go to an auction, we have to look at all the horses that we can't save. Um, we have to actually pick and choose, sadly, which ones we, we can adopt out and which ones we can um, save. A lot of people don't realize what even happens to a lot of the horses at the auctions. A lot of people think that they're all going to end up going to good homes, somebody who wants to have a pet or a, a horse that they can ride or whatever. 
but the reality is a, a large percentage of them end up going to uh, the meat buyers who are buying them for slaughter and export to uh, Canada or Mexico and then also to eventually end up on somebody's plate in Europe. Over the years we've collected over 400,000 signatures to encourage our president to please sign the American Horse Slaughter Prevention Act. This act would basically prohibit American horses from being slaughtered here in the United States, but it would also prohibit them from being exported into Canada or Mexico. Um, we just really don't feel that horse slaughter is the responsible answer to the equine overpopulation problem that we have right now. This is a human created problem that's been created by irresponsible breeding and by uh, irresponsible sport industries. These horses should not have to pay for these mistakes with their life.